Alright, here we go. It's locked. Wait a minute. Open this door. Open this goddamn door. Why is this door locked? How do I get in? I never come back, you stinkers. Aha. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off Whoa. and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Look at this guy. Tough ass fucking dwarf with a mohawk. Gear up in the nick of time as always. Wait, don't we know this guy? Sultan, with your boot to someone's ass. As yeah, always. wasn't he in the last game? Who were those men? Local color. Wasn't they gone more than a moment? Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. What a bunch of dicks. Here they are again! All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? All right, let's whoop some ass. With pleasure. You motherfuckers! Fuck. Yeah. Like never Stupid vagrants! Get the fuck out of here! I'm gonna counter him. Well, if he would fucking swing when I could see the frame rate, I could fucking see. What the? Look at this guy! Get out! Get the fuck out! Ha ha ha! Please. That went well. Now we can treat each other like the gods are being. It is loud. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. <laughs> you, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But... What she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> hmm. Me problem, then. Uh-oh. Where is he? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. He's, he's well, just gone? Well returned, as you saw. You're expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Huh. Dandelion gone. The tavern chocked full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Huh. I say we start wherever there's the most loot. Here's some right here. Aha, a, a loot. A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. <laughs> this is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Someone chased him out of the house somehow. Letter from Fran. We'll read that in a second after I loot everything. Ah. Hmm. Ten barrels of two cent dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> it says planner. Hmm. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. No seen him this obsessed ever. Wow. Stop being a flake. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. <clears throat> Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Ah. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. Uh -huh. 
Sounds familiar. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I'll ask the lassies in my half you interrogate the ones in yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. In verse? you figure that's unnatural because... Uh. Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying before I go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. All right, we gotta read the plan. Everybody. I gotta loot is what I gotta do. Loot. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Get this fucking candle out of my face and loot the bag. The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. That's his real name. Oh shit. Letters all over the place. How's that? Annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Heriwood himself did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel and I... Ugh, another time. Is this a fucking port? It's a portrait of Dandelion holding a sword like he ever used one. Oh my god. <laughs> Letter from a female admirer, yes. We're still looting, we're not done. We're gonna go upstairs. My god, it's like multiple floors? What the hell kind of place is this? He's got a fucking mansion. And he's gonna come home to an empty mansion. I'm taking everything. It's all fucking mine. It's all mine now, Dandelion. Fuck you. Shouldn't have left. Should have never left. Squatter's rights. Good luck in the Witcher to give all this shit back. Yes. Yes! Loot! Yes! Loot! Yes! Loot! Yes! Fucking loot-tastic, baby. I'm not done. What's over here? Dead end. That's weird. Alright, let's go up. Why? There's so much things to loot. There's so many things to loot. I can't stop myself. There's more. I missed some. I gotta go back. There's a door here that's blocked. Locked. Key required. Shit, there's a key I need to get into Dandelion's locked room. Alright, let's read his planner. Not reading any of this. A Gwent player. Gwent cheats. Well, we return to Sidaris. Female admirer. The thrust of your hypnotic gaze led my visage red and hot. That's all I'm going to read. I'm not going to read any more. <laughs> oh, I didn't read the planner. I read the I read the, the letter from the admirer. Here it is. 
Nice. Oh, God. Talk to Zoltan first. Hey! Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Oh my god. Polly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. In yeah. the alcove. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. Yeah, she really slew that dragon there. <laughs> if I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. What? Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. What? Oh, truly perverse. She did a kind half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Uh. She pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Uh. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Ha! Huh. She's very kinky. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Wow. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never Whoa. suspected he'd be so humble. A dwarf. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Ah. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric, but we Rosa preferred swordplay. So she How gave her dare sword she dwarf. the great bard in favor of a common sword master. More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. Huh? So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Ah, well, there's the way in. We gotta pretend to be a sword instructor. A figure most rare. Her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. <laughs> Why? See, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. All right, I guess we talked about all of them. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. All right, so we're gonna chase all of Dandelion's flings. All right, let's go. Let's talk to Vespula. <gasps> Vespula. Oh, Vespula. Your cooch is like a whoa. Hey now, Vespula. It's nice and juicy, yo! <laughs> Is this Vespula? Vespula. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week. She's Please. hideous. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. <laughs> wow. What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Hello. That's enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Chopping up. This pule has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars. Made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. 
Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Uh. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's got to be. Ugh, butterface. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not <laughs> Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. <laughs> Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. <laughs> said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Oh, yeah. Song. It's us. He picked that habit up from us, too. Gotta have a word with him. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. <laughs> I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Okay then. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. <laughs> Horvir, more likely. Horvir! Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. <laughs> He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Damn. Thanks for your help. Alright. People Listen, in the stream chat are rating her. Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him. He's a two faced snake, but. It would be nice if you dropped by. Oh my god, of course, because she's lonely. So yeah, people in the stream chat are rating the women. Some people are saying she's like a 5 or a 6. So this is 6.5. Some people are saying... She's a, like a 2 or a 0. <laughs> Great. Let's see who else Dandelion slept with. Let's judge them all against each other, yes. Elihal. Burst into the house. He slept with this guy? What the fuck? He slept with this dude? I'm a friend of Dandelion's. Looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn He's socks. an elf. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Uh. Sorry, I thought. Thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Uh oh. Is he gonna dress up like a woman? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Any better? Oh. So oh. Did you and Dandelion? I mean. Oh. How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> It's the crying game! Oh, look! I was having a nice night out with Ella Hall and I found Captain Winky! <laughs> Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Wow. Luckily, Dandelion's an open minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Wow. <laughs> Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Huh. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He ask about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, 
I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. Hmm. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. Hmm. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, oh, shit. burned him at the stake in Hierarch <laughs> Square. Ouch! But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Eat it, Joe. Eat Sucks flaccid cock. Nah. Okay then, I think we're done. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Good lord. Can I buy stuff from him? What happened? Greetings. Come I to leveled up! Spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything ch- right, shut up. I don't want to hear about what chafes and pinches. What's he got? Oh wow, he's got stuff. Yeah, look. This stuff all sucks, but look. Whoa! I look at mask for a masquerade ball. He's got three of them. I'm buying all of them. I bought all the masks. Here you go. So long. Wow. Who would have known the Witcher 3 would have gone there? I guess we should have known. How do you equip a mask? Oh, How do you equip a mask? Oh, how do I do it? I bought them. Aha! Look at that. You can only equip one at a time. We're gonna wear this mask for the rest of the game. <laughs> it's like, fuck me. It looks like Toucan Sam. He's gonna have some fucking Fruit Loops. Wow. Oh my god. Alright, let's continue. This is fucking weird. This shit's just getting weird now. <laughs> oh boy.